to further solutions academy further solutions academy now encourage us more just encourage us more to share our video and also subscribe if you have not subscribed before just press on your subscribe button um, direct update from us just just that's why it's good to subscribe and mind you if you need to make any comments or you want to reach us we have online platform we have online classes and direct even physical classes as far as within nigeria is allowed you can reach us with this our line with this phone line with this, with this line three four four nine five nine nine yeah. you can reach us with this number you can do three things with this you can call us you can whatsapp us and also telegram is allowed that will be three you are good to go no problem now um okay i'm working on a pyramid on a square base pyramid on the square base you know it can be a rectangular base anyhow but let me just quickly let me explain the first which if i have the time i can now move on to a rectangular base now when we talk about square base it means we are <coughs> We are talking about something like this. It must be a square. Now, hope you know condition of a square that it must satisfy this equals to this equals to this equals to this. That is what I mean by it means L equals to L. That's what I mean. It can be X, and this is going to be base. This is going to be base. Now, from the origin, we have what is called a line. We call it which it will have vertices it will have a vertex to have a vertex vertex means where they all meet at the point of where they all meet now this is called this point is called vertex it's called vertex now now this place we call it slant height this is called slant height we call it slant height and also this is the real height this place is real height and uh, we have this is going to be this you know what this is now the slant height are always equal the slant height are always equal um i think that's all you need to know about this pyramid it's a very nice part you know of mathematics that you need to understand very well now when we talk about that um, also let me quickly add more things to it the volume of this particular part the volume is equal to one all over three of what area of base multiplied by the height. Area of the base multiplied by the height. It means one all over three multiplied by um, L squared multiplied by H. Multiplied by H. That is what I mean. My L is the what is the length length I'm referring to because the the area of this square is length square, which is L times L. Now, since I have it in unit cube, unit cube, in unit cube. Now, these are the things you need to understand when it comes to pyramid. And um, what else you can use to have? That is common things that me and you on pyramid for our level. Now, uh, let me quickly give a problem to uh, illustrate this part. To illustrate this part. Don't forget that point where the joint, the whole met, where the whole meat is called vertex. Please take note of that. Very important. Somebody can have so anywhere. Now, the height of a pyramid <coughs> on a square. This is 15 centimeter. If the volume at, I mean, if the volume is um, 80 centimeter, you find the length of the side of the base now solution to this problem let's try to solve this question you know to, to try to solve it 
Now, I have this particular question. We are talking about volume, and we all know that volume is always equal to um, 1 over 3 of base, area base, multiplied by the height. And area base is 1 over 3 multiplied by L squared multiplied by H, which have explained that area. Now, the volume is given, volume is given as 80. Volume is 80 centimeter cube. Now, what else is given? I'm um, also given uh, uh, the height is given, which is going to be H is given as 15 centimeter. Now, I can easily say that what my 80 equals to 1 all over 3 multiplied by what is my L, L square? I don't know it. Multiplied by what? 15. 3 year 1, 3 year 5. Now, I can say that my L squared, I can say that my L squared equals to L squared equal, uh, sorry, 80 equals to 5 L squared. The Bible said by 5 by 5, this will cancel my L squared equals to 80 divided by 5. 80 divided by 5, um, it will be uh, 16. Yes, 16 times 5, that's 80. Yes, that will be 15, 16. Now, which is equal to 16? Now, I will not square root the both side. Uh, also, square root of this, which is having square, this will be 16. Now, by so doing that, my L will be equal to 4 centimeters. It means my L equals to 4 centimeters. With this, I can find anything, you know, that's all, that's all you need to do when it comes to a pyramid. Now, and also, let me try to give more example on the, this part before. Pyramid, 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 pyramid. Now, okay, I have this question. A right pyramid. Is a is on a square. I write a square. I square root here. Yeah. Square base of side four centimeter. B spline side of the pyramid. Is uh, two root three centimeter. Calculate the volume of the pyramid. Now, I want to solve this question. Before, let me quickly show the diagram in the diagram, diagram, plastic, and diagram, and diagram. Now. I have it this way, I have it this way, I have it this way. Sorry. I'm not letting the train very well. Let me redo. Now, I have this. I have this. I have this. Now, I want to generate my vertex. This is my vertex. Now, it has the slant height as 2 root 3 centimeter. And um, I can have a diagonal line here, which is, I have it as, um, uh, I can call it A, and I call this one B, and I call this one, let me use the, my another marker to explain that. Let me have this as A, I have this one as B, and I have this one as E, which is, I'm just trying to work on the, on the, um, um, that, um, what is it? Now, since I have that, what else? I have the, what, which is going to be 4 centimeter. 
Now with this, I can say that my volume, it will be equals to one all over three um, multiplied by this area multiplied by height. Now multiply by height. Now which, what can I do to generate my height? Because I only have my words. This is my height. Is not is missing. Now with the help of my. Now I will first like to cut off this place. I will cut off this, which is generate a right angle triangle. By so doing that, I can say that my AB squared equals to four squared plus four squared because it's a square. They are all equal. I just cut off. I cut off this. Let me use another marker to indicate that I have this. I have this, and I have the what the diagonal diagonal of it you know which i have it as a square shape now which i have 1632 which i have root of 32 my ab squared equals to my ab itself to the root of 32 now okay now i'm not talking about from here to here that's what i need i need from here which is from e to my a e now will be equals to ab divided by 2 which is root of 32 divided by 2 root of 32 by 2 it means if i should divide that to by 2 i can now say that my h squared go to another particular term equals to 4 squared plus um, 4 32 all over 2 all squared now which i will be having a squared equals to 16 plus uh, 32 all over 4 32 times 4 that will be 64 now we have it as 64 plus 32 which is really um now 64 plus 32 which is um uh with this i cannot continue by having okay now oh sorry i made a mistake i did not follow the what the roots of this which is my sign tight i've left it, i've left it behind which is i'm sorry for that I'm sorry for that, sorry for that, sorry for that. It means once it become height, my height squared equals to my AB divided by 2 plus all squared plus um, uh, uh, A divided by 2 all squared of, um, and the, our, the slack height is going to be um, 2 root of 3 all squared that is how it will be now since i have that i can say that my slant height i don't know it equals to which is going to be 30 root of 32 uh, root of 32 divided by 2 squared plus uh, 2 multiplied by 3 2 squared multiplied, which is going to be 4 which will be 12 which i'll be having 12 sorry for that i have 12 here here will be 32 divided by 2 divided by 4, 32 divided by 4, which I will be having um, 32, yes, okay, which I have, um, uh, okay, which I will be having my h squared, what am I doing? Sorry, I'm not doing, doing the right thing. Now, I put an us, which is 2 root of 33 squared equals to h squared plus uh, uh, root of 32 all over 2 squared. Now, since I have that, this will be 4 root of multiplied by 3 equals to h squared equals to 32 all over 4. 32, 32 divided by 4, which I have h squared equals to 12, uh, equals to 12 minus 32 divided by 4 which is to be um 2 2 2 2 that be 16 16 all over 2 which is going to be 8 which is going to be 8 yes yes it's that be 8 now since i have that it will be equals to 8 minus that will be 4 a square equals to 4 root of this root of this my h equals to 2 my h equals to 2 Sorry about that. And my h is equal to a two. Since I have my h, I can now go for my volume by saying that what my volume 
of pyramid equals to 1 over 3 of um, 4 squared multiplied by what? 2. Which I will have um, it to be 10 whole number. You know, yes. 10 whole number. 10 whole number. I have it as 10 whole number. 3 all over 4 centimeter cube. That is my volume. Now, with this, you are good to go without any problem. Don't forget that uh, you are home with uh, Further Solutions Academy. You are home with Further Solutions Academy. Okay. You are home with Further Solutions Academy. I encourage us more to share and also subscribe. If you have not subscribed before, just press on your subscribe button uh, once again. If you need any help, you can reach us with this line of 2348034495990. You can also comment below. With this line, you can call us, you can WhatsApp us, and also Telegram is allowed. Okay, once again, thanks for watching.